Good evening, everybody. Congratulations again for successfully defending your research titles. So this is me again, your instructor, John Marvin Raganas. And in this video, we are going to be talking about writing the chapter 1 of your research paper. So ito na yung next na gagawin nyo after your title defense. Okay, ano bang purpose ng chapter 1? The chapter 1 of your paper is done to improve the relevance and timeliness of the study. So, ano ba yung kahalagahan at napapanahon ba yung study nyo? Dito makikita ng mga readers, ng mga panelists sa chapter 1. So, ano-ano ba yung parts ng chapter 1? So, the chapter 1 has the following parts. Ito yung most common at ito yung ipapalo natin sa ating class. It has the following parts. The first one, introduction, statement of the problem, significance of the study, scope and delimitation, and the definition of terms. So, may five parts na gagawin for chapter 1. Simple lang naman itong mga parts na ito. But before we proceed to our discussion of the parts of the chapter 1, please take note of the following format. So, these are um, the guidelines to use the formats to use while we are writing our research paper. So, gagawin natin to sa Word document or any type of document processing na mga applications. So, yes. The first one is we should need to use we need to use the 8.5 or 8 and 1 half by 11 inches or the short size bond paper. So, let's open the Word document. Word. There. So, to make sure na naka 8.5 by 11 inches yung word, is pupunta kayo sa layout, tapos itong size. Be sure na ang selected is 8 and 1 half by 11 inches. Okay? So, that is the letter size. Ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Next, margins, margins, <laughs> margins must be observed at 1 inch in all sides except the left which must have 1.5 inch. So, again... Ang margins na makikita din sa layout. Ito yung margins. Tapos, pupunta kayo sa custom margins dito sa iba ba. At make sure na naka 1 inch lahat. Except sa left, na gagawin natin 1.5 inch. Bakit naman 1.5? Kasi, um, prepare na nyo na to itong paper para sa book binding. No? Baka ipapabain ko yung papers nyo. Um, yung final output nyo. At may, ano na, may 0.5 na siya na space dito na extra for the book binding. Okay. Tapos, line spacing should be set at 1.5. So, ano ba yung line spacing? So, let's copy-paste. Um, ito, ito, ito. Copy-paste natin to Ayan. So, ano ba yung line spacing? Pag hina-highlight mo lahat, pupunta ka lang dito sa home. Tapos, click mo ito ano, sa ito naka-line and paragraph spacing. Tapos, select mo 1.5. Okay? 1.5. Most of the time, ginagamit is yung 2. Pero sa ating class, gagamitin natin 1.5 lang. Para hindi masyadong, ano, hindi masyadong aksaya sa paper. Alright. Pwede na namang 2 yung gamitin nyo para, yan yan, mas klarong klaro. Pero 1.5 is enough. Okay? Tapos, font to use is Arial. So, naka-Arial naman siya. Arial. Tapos, ito yung Arial. Ha? Ito yung Arial. Tapos, font size is 12. Tapos, naka-justify yung text. Ano ba yung justify? Ito yung justify. Ganyan. Naka-click ka. Pwede mo i-control J yan. Control J. Ayan, naka-justify. ginagawa ng justify is ini-stretch na yung mga text na mapapantay siya dito sa gilid. No, na mura siya ma, ano, ma-level. Kasi pag walang justify, remove natin yung justify, nakaganyan siya. Parang hagdan-hagdan sa gilid. So, pag in-highlight mo, control J, control plus J, or dito, click mo dito. So, see mo na nakapantay na siya. Alright? Okay, so let us move on to um, the introduction. Okay, so the introduction is sometimes called as the background of the study or rationale. No? 
So, pwede siyang tawagon ng background of the study or rationale or rationale. Okay, so what is included in your introduction? So, like writing an essay, uh, merong part sa essay na um, introduction, introductory part. So, ayan. Example is, you give the general view of the problem. So, global scale. So, example, your problem, your research problem is about um, internet addiction. So, you will search for mga, ano, yung mga articles that talks about internet addiction no? in a global scale, so entire world. The next is magtotalk naman kayo sa same problem on the Philippine scale. So, example lang to ng format, ha? So, then, view of the problem on a local scale. So, anong mga nakikita nyo sa paligid na um, related sa yung problem like most of the students nowadays are addicted to the internet and all um, spends most of the time on the internet. So, gagawin nyo yan na introductory part. Next is, kabilang din sa introduction part, what are you planning to do with the problem? So, yes, ano ba yung gagawin ng mga researchers kayo tungkol sa problem? Tapos, why is it important and why did you choose the problem? So, next part nitong um, introduction na uh, discussion natin is may ipapakita ako na example introduction. No? And then, let us analyze kung nang doon ba yung general view of the problem, nang doon ba yung um, ano yung gagawin ng researcher sa problem, bakit ito important, and bakit pinili ng mga researcher yung problem. No? Tapos may last itong note dito, the rationale must have at least five references. Anong ibig sabihin ng references? Just take note, the rationale, ito yung instruction ko sa inyo, the rationale, rationale, must have at least five references. So, yes, we will talk about references later. Next, ito yung example ng introduction. So, sa paper na to, ito yung paper ng um, batch 2019, yung face-to-face -face pa. Um, yung problem nila is about internet usage, no? internet cafe usage, um, its impact to the academic performance of the students. So, since yung internet usage and uh, computer usage or internet cafe usage yung problem nila, so, nag-start sila talking about technology, right? So, general view, right? So, sabi nila dito, ayan, ayan, thanks to technology, education is no longer confined to the walls of the classroom. YouTube, YouTube videos and social media don't have to be a distraction. They can be part of your course material. The math is easy. It adds up to better learning outcomes. Tapos, may nilagay sila dito. Apilyedo ng tao. Tapos, year. Kung kailan niya sinabi yung quote na ito. So, ito yung tinatawag na references. May gagamitin kayong mga authors para mag-support sa claim nyo. So, may gagamitin kayo ng mga authors. So, another example dito is ito. The use of technology has made the process of teaching and learning all the more enjoyable. So, sino nagsabi niyan? Si Raja and Nagasubramani. And when nila sinabi yan, 2018. Okay, so paano ba kukuha ng mga references? So, again, you're very lucky now because marami ng mga sites ngayon na pwede niyong pagkukuna ng references. Um, unlike sa amin noon when we were writing our thesis, we need we needed to look for existing thesis uh, we open books and all so ngayon marami ng resources so one of the best resource is the google scholar so anong gagawin natin pupunta lang tayo sa open your browser okay then you type scholar.google.com at ito yung google scholar so Ano natin, i-maximize lang natin yung screen. So, here, you can search um, scholarly articles, um, researches, um, mga thesis na free lang. Okay, so here, um, example, we will type in um, related sa ating problem, written statement about computer usage. Okay, example lang, computer usage. So, there, these are all articles, these are researches and all na pwede nyong gamitin 
as your references. So, paano ba natin gagamitin yan? Pero before natin i-open to or before tayo maghahanap ng mga references, be sure na pupunta kayo dito custom range at itatype inyo lang yung year na minus 10 from the current year. Kasi yun yung mga researches, yun yung mga references na valid again minus 10 from the current year. So now is 2021. So 2011 yung ano, it in it ko na to. So 2011 to 2021. So ito lang na mga years na to valid ang mga references for current researches. Okay? Researches. So ayan, minus 10 years lang. Yung iba ga minus 5 years pero gagawin natin ngayon is minus 10 years. So search. At ito yung mga valid references, sir. Ano yung gagawin namin diyan? Babasahin niyo yung mga articles na yan. Maghahanap kayo ng mga lines na posibleng mag-support sa sinasabi niyo sa introduction. So, pag um, yung introduction niyo is talking about computers, if it's talking about um, what else, um, techniques in, in learning, so magta-type na rin kayo dito, techniques in learning, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos, minus 10 sa custom range. Tsaka lalabas yung mga articles. I-open nyo. Yung iba, yung mga merong mga ganito dito sa gilid. Ready to download. Example this one. Download natin yan. Ayan. Download ko. Alright. Alright. So, ayan. Ito yung research na about media multitasking behavior, concurrent television, and computer usage. So, babasahin nyo lahat yan. Maghahanap kayo ng mga, ng mga pwede nyo gamitin as your references na related sa study nyo. Or, very simple, kasi ano pa lang, lang, lang naman to, um, introduction, maghahanap kayo dito. Ayan, maghahanap kayo dyan. Na pwede nyo um, related sa study nyo. Example, Changes in the media landscape have made simultaneous usage of the computer and television increasingly commonplace. The little research has explored how individuals navigate the multimedia environment. So, yan, pwede yung gamitan niya na statement, right? Or, pag gusto niyo yung, gusto niyo yung ano na ito, yung um, article na to, pwede kayong mag click ng related articles at lalabas yung mga kapareho kapareho niya ng mga articles. Ayan, at pwede rin kayong maghanap dyan dito. Oh, pwede kayo maghanap dyan. Dapat related ha. Related sa topic nyo. Related sa pagka, pagkakalagay nyo sa introduction and all. Ayan, pwede dyan. Mas madali ito kaysa sa basahin nyo yung entire, um, ano, entire article. No? Ano pa naman? Introduction pa lang naman. So, example. This one. Um, okay, maghanap tayo. Ah, ito. Ayan. The increasing popularity of media multitasking. Basta yung related lang naman, yung related lang. Sir, ayan, nakuha na namin yan, sir. Ano ang gagawin namin next? Example, changes this one. Ano ang gagawin namin to next, sir? Shall we copy-paste it to our um, research? Hindi nyo pwedeng i-copy-paste yan. Anong gagawin nyo? You paraphrase. No? So, alam nyo na siguro yung paraphrasing, pero may gagamitin na naman tayo. Marami ng mga... Ano ngayon na pwede nyo gamitin na pa for paraphrasing? Ito yung example ng isa, yung Quillbot. Okay, click nyo. Mag-type kayo ng Quillbot. Lalabas itong Quillbot.com. At ayan, pwede kayong mag-paraphrase for free. Up to how many ba to? Mga, mga 400 letters siguro to. So, example dito. Copy-paste mo yan. Okay, tapos lagay mo dyan. Tapos i-paraphrase mo. And, ayan, ito na yung pwede nyong i-copy-paste. Ano, oh, hindi pa pala ito naka-paraphrase. Wait, wait lang, habang nag-loading to. Up to 700 characters pala ang pwede nyang i-paraphrase. So, ayan, na-paraphrase yun na. Alright, changes in the media landscape are made using computer and watching television at the same time more frequent. Okay, so ayan, naka-paraphrase na yan. Pwede nyong i-copy-paste yan. At ilalagay nyo sa paper ninyo. Okay, ilalagay nyo sa paper. Example lang to. Ayan, example lang. Kailangan nyo. Ayan, 
Tapos, sino ba ang nagsabi nito? Si? Si Brussel and Gibbs. No? Dalawa yung ano dito? Dalawa. Yan ba yun? Yeah. Dalawa. Si Brussel and Gibbs. So, paano nyo ilalagay niyan? Close and open parenthesis. Okay. Close and open parenthesis. Tapos, um, you write the, ano, Brussel and Gibbs. Tapos, comma, kailan niya sinabi niyan? 2011. 2011. At meron na kayong one reference. Right? Pwede niya sabihin na according to, according to Brussel and Gibbs 2011, ganyan, ilalagay niyo naman. Um, different format lang yun, per same lang din naman. Okay? So, hahanap kayo ng mga articles, yung mga lines, yung mga quotes, tapos i-paraphrase nyo, i-copy-paste nyo. Pag, uh, after ng paraphrase, i-copy-paste nyo sa paper nyo. At meron na kayong one reference. Valid to kasi 2011 pa to. Right? So, pag dalawa yung authors, be sure na... Um, Una yung ilalagay na mi, uh, middle name naman, yung surname, yung family name, is yung naka-alphabetical, -alpha okay? So, Brazil, B, G is, okay, that's, that's alright. Okay, then meron na kayong, you now have, you now have a reference. Okay, so introduction, I need five references. Okay, five references for introduction. So, mahilap ba? Madali lang naman. Sir! Pagkatapos, okay na ba ito? Meron pa pala tayong gagawin. Ang nasa ating gagawin is, pag ito yung article na nakuha nyo yung line, kiklik nyo ito, yung ito, tapos site. Ayan, may ready-made na na bibliography. So, gagamitin natin isang yung APA format lamang. So, ito ang copy-paste nyo. Save nyo lahat ng mga bibliographies nyo sa um, separate sheet. No? Example that one. Save nyo separate sheet nyo dapat ha. Tapos, lalagay nyo sa bibliography nyo. Yan ay nakikita sa last part of your um, research paper. So, lahat ng mga ginamit nyo na references, um, copy the um, this bibliography. Okay? APA format. Ayan. So, marami yan. Um, just explore. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple maghanap ng references. I know it will take time, pero yes, marami ng mga pwedeng gamitin ngayon. And you can make, um, you can um, take advantage of these um, platforms na pwede nyo gamitin sa paghahanap ng references. Alright, so pwede nyo gamitin yan sa mga essays nyo. Pwede kayo maghanap ng references para mas, mas profound yung mga essay nyo and all. And also, the paraphrasing tool, the Quillbot, can also be used in paraphrasing your copied answers. <laughs> no? Diba? Para iba-iba naman yung um, pagkakalagay ng mga answers nyo na nilalagay nyo sa mga modules nyo, right? So, you paraphrase them. Ayun! So, babalik tayo dito sa introduction. So, kung babasahin nyo yung introduction na to, meron siyang general view of the problem. Tapos, punta up um, just take a look at here. Ano? So, meron siyang um, view of the problem in the Philippines. No, Philippine setting na. Yan. Hanggang sa, pupunta na dyan sa um, yung local setting na. Alright. So, I need five references for introduction. So, examples niyan. Ayan. Mga references yan. Okay. And then, um, ano ang balak ga, uh, ano ang balak gawin ng mga researchers? So, alright, present necessity, the study will be conducted to the computer research. Ano, ito yung balak gagawin, balak gawin ng mga researchers. And, how is it useful? How is your study useful? So, lalagay nyo sa introduction. The result of this study will probably help the computer usage of who use internet cafe to limit their time spent playing. Yeah, simple. And, yan. Okay. So, yeah, we, we need um, three to five pages of introduction. So, at least five, at most five, uh, I mean, at least three, at most five pages. Okay, good luck. Next is the statement of the problem. The statement of the problem contains um, the main 
the main questions to be answered in your research. So example this example is this one. The study aims to assess and determine the relationship between the student's academic performance and the amount of time spent in who use internet cafe. Specifically, this aims to answer the following questions. So profile of the respondents, that is one question. What is the amount of time spent in the internet cafe? Another question. What are the common reasons why students use an internet cafe? Another and four like that. So we need four to five main questions of the research and that's how you have your statement of the problem. Okay. So I will check panaman and consider revisions if if I see na hindi naman related yung mga questions nyo sa um yung mga research questions yung hindi naman related sa problem nyo. So I will I will advise for revision naman din. So at most five lang, at least three. No? So one, two, three, four. Okay. So ganyan lang simple lang naman tong statement of the problem. So significance of the stud of the study. So parang ganun, parang ganito rin for the students, for the teachers, for the parents, for the future researchers. So just take a look at that. No? How is your um, study beneficial to other people. Okay, take a look at that. And scope and delimitation. Ito yung fourth part ng chapter 1. So, the scope and delimitation answers what is the study about, who are the participants or respondents, where is it conducted, and when is it conducted. So, papakita nyo to hanggang saan lang ang limit ng research nyo. Sino lang ang kabilang sino ang mga hindi kabilang at sino ang kabilang lang. Okay, so this is an example of the scope and the limitation of the study. So ayan. So ano yung problem? Ito lang yung ipo-focus na, wala nang ibang ipo-focus. Um sino ang mga respondents, sino ang um ang mga participants na yung research and kailan siya gaganapin? Okay. And at saan siya gaganapin. So, in this case, the whole use internet cafe and all. So, iba-iba. No? So, yung research natin, gaganapin natin ngayong first semester. After sa, maybe sa quarter 2. Yung ano, oo, or after ng quarter 1. Ah, quarter 1 pala. After ng quarter 1, dahil may mga grades na. Um, and most of the researches na i-present nyo ay may kinalaman sa grades. So, after ng quarter 1, sisimulan natin yung pag-gather ng data. Okay. Alright. So, the definition of terms naman is ilalagay nyo dito yung mga terms that you are usually using or you are commonly using in your research paper and then you define them. Right? So, hindi, you don't need to define terms that are already known to all the people. Like example, you define GPA, general point average, because not all the people knows what GPA means, right? Internet cafe as well. And also specified here on the example, sex is defined no, as the classification of male and female because my ibang connotation yung word na sex. And users also, ganyan. So, depende lang sa um, research paper nyo. And... At, um, and again, do not use, um, you do not put terms in the definition of terms that are common and simple, okay? Yun lang need yung i-clarify. Alright, so yun lang, yun lang yung um, limang parts ng chapter 1. So, kaya nyo ba lahat to? So, yeah. Um, final instructions is, um, you are going to pass your chapter 1 to me through the leader, yung mga leader yung mag magsasubmit, and the deadline for the chapter 1, draft pa lang naman to, consider revision again, consider revision, if I say that you need to revise, um, until October 22, at exactly 11.59pm, so hanggang 11.59 ng gabi, ngayong Friday ang deadline ng chapter 1. And if you have questions, you can also um, PM me. Okay, so that I can answer your questions. Alright, so that's it for now. And um, good luck to all. I, I will also be sending you this PowerPoint
PowerPoint presentation for your reference. Alright, good luck to all and stay safe.